What's going on there everyone? It's November and winter's starting to set in. The quail have stopped laying so I've got some of these lights. We're gonna go ahead. We got the quail rolled out and the space open so we're gonna go ahead and see about hooking up battery operated lights in our quail hutch. Let's get to it. I'm Bill and I raise rabbits and quail in my very small backyard. And on this channel, we talk about tips, tricks, and lessons learned. Here are the lights I got. There's about 200 in each of these, and then they connect together pretty easily. I'll leave a link in the description below, but I really got these because of these clips. I think this will make mounting very easy. All right. That actually went a lot easier than I thought. So these clips here, I just screwed it into the wall. It also has an adhesive. So I put that on there too, so they're nice and tight. And then it's got this wire that connects these two together. And then on this end, I just uh, connected, they had this cable included, and I just put a couple butt connectors there to connect them together. And I have this running down right now. So yes, that's a very, very big battery. You don't need a battery that big. You could get away with almost anything. The reason I'm going with the 12 volt system is my plan is to put a solar panel on top as soon as I get the funds. So I want to set this up now. My calculations, <laughs> this, <laughs> this huge battery should probably run these lights for about two weeks. So, cause these are LED lights. They don't take, I think they're like six watts. So it's not going to be too much of a draw on this battery for sure. But this is not the final setup because we have a timer, a DC timer, which I'm going to hook up right now. But I just wanted to make sure that the lights worked. Make sure I'm going to be happy with it. So switch on each of them. Probably should turn that around so they're both on the same side. I do believe that should work. So let's get the timer set up, get the timer hooked up, get everything back in, and we'll take a look. All right, ladies. There it is. I do believe that should work. Should be plenty of light. What do you guys think? Uh, that's an overkill. And then uh, still got to clean up some of the wires a little bit here, but just mounted the timer switch there. That way I can kind of manually turn it on and off and get to the program if I want to. The lights do have a switch on it as well. Not sure if that's going to stay there or not. I did want to put some shelves in here, so I can probably get this off the cage. That's probably not great for it. There is room on the floor as well. But hopefully we'll be doing a solar charger and a solar panel up here soon. I know it's going to be overkill, but <laughs> that's the way I like to do it. So we'll come back and take a quick peek at night. I've got it set up right now to come on at 6 a.m. And then right now with our light. So it's coming on at 6 a.m., going off at 10 a.m. And then it comes back on at 4 p.m., and goes back off at 8 p.m. That should give me a total of about 16 hours of daylight between actual daylight as well, because I always try to come out here and open this up, give them some daylight. All right, I like it. All right, it's not completely dark yet, but I still wanted you to be able to see, so let's go take a look. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. I think that's gonna work just fine. <laughs> look at those things in there. <laughs> They are happy. They like the light. That should work. See ya.